King Ahab was a wicked king. He set up idols of Baal and altars of Baal along the paths in the woods, just like Jezebel, his wife, had wanted. Tell them, Ahab, tell the people how great Baal is. Pray to Baal. Baal sends the rain to make your fields and your gardens grow. Baal is great. King Ahab built a beautiful temple. He placed the ugly idol of Baal in the temple and told the people to pray to Baal because Baal would send them rain. But there was one who would not bow down to Baal, the prophet Elijah. Worship Baal. <laughs> prophet Elijah looked down from his mountaintop home built of stones. He saw the temple of Baal. It made him weak. <laughs> and he prayed. One day that God, one day God came near and talked with prophet Elijah. I will teach the king and the people that it is I, the Lord, who sends the rain, not the idol Baal. Go, tell King Ahab that there will be neither dew nor rain until the people of Israel turn away from their idols. Down the mountainside hurried prophet Elijah across the valley to the king's palace, past the king's soldiers. Elijah did not stop until he stood before King Ahab. King Ahab, as the Lord God liveth, there shall be neither dew nor rain until the people of Israel turn from their idols. Then prophet Elijah quickly left the king's palace. God told Elijah to hide beside the brook Cherith. Catch Elijah, catch that man! Get out of your way! Come on, kids, but Elijah come on. was already gone. Oh, kids, the soldiers ran in all directions to find him. They went to his mountain home, but Elijah was not there. They hunted for him in the fields, but Elijah was not there. Even King Ahab joined in the search, but no one could find prophet Elijah. All right, I think this is a good hiding place here beside Brooks Sheriff. I forgot all about this place, but this place is the perfect hiding place. I have this whole stream that will give me water to drink. It was a perfect spot for hiding beside Brook Sheriff because it gave Elijah clear, cool water to drink and to wash his hands. Every morning and every evening, God sent ravens to bring Elijah food. The grass provided a cozy bed to lay his head at night to sleep. But in, no time, but in time with no rain, it wasn't such a good hiding place anymore. My, the grass is starting to turn brown. The leaves are falling and the trees are bare. And now there's hardly any water in Brook Cherith. What shall I do now? Where can I go? But God did not forget Elijah. God never forgets. Again, God speaks to Elijah. Elijah, go to the city of Zarephath. I have commanded a widow who lives there to give you food and water. Off Elijah goes on his long journey northward and above the Sea of Galilee, then westward almost to the coast of the Mediterranean Sea to a town called Zarephath. Elijah sees a widow and her son searching for wood near the gate of the city. <clears throat> May I trouble you for some water? And maybe some bread, please? I have only a handful of meal and a little oil. My son and I are gathering sticks to bake the last loaf of bread. After that, we must die. Fear not, but make me a little cake. For God has said that the meal shall not lack 
nor the oil fail until the day he sends rain. The widow remembered her dream of helping a stranger. She quickly baked a little cake for Prophet Elijah and drew him a drink of water from the well. The widow gave him a room in the loft of her home to sleep. Look, look, there's still a handful of meal in my flour barrel and a little oil in this jar for my oil. Enough for our day's loaf of bread. And so it was. There was always a small amount of flour in the barrel and a little oil in the jar and water in the well. So during the time of no rain, the widow, the boy, and Elijah had bread to eat and water to drink. After three and a half years, God spoke to Elijah again. Elijah, Elijah, go show yourself unto the king Ahab and I will send rain upon the earth. All right, back to the land of Israel went prophet Elijah. He met King Ahab on the path. He met King Ahab on the path and the king frowned at him. Is it you, troubler of Israel? No, I am not troubled in Israel. You have, because you turned away from God. And you have gathered all the people to follow you. Now, gather every one of Israel that they may come and meet me on Mount Carmel and bring all the prophets of Baal with you. King Ahab did as prophet Elijah said. All the people of Israel came and all the prophets of Baal came. They all gathered together on Mark, Mount Carmel and wondered what would happen next. About as big as you kids. <laughs> Where's the people? They're supposed Today to we will prove who is the true God. We will each build an altar. The prophets of Baal, boo, and myself. We will both offer a sacrifice, and the God who answers by fire, he is the true God. Agreed? And so the prophets of Baal built an altar first. They placed wood on the altar, and after they were done building their altar, they placed an offering upon the wood. And they prayed to Baal from morning oh, until noon. Oh, Baal! Oh, hear us, oh, oh Baal! Hear oh, us! Oh, Baal! Oh, Oh, well. Oh, well. There was no answer. They tried to oh, no, no. They tried to oh, no. They leaped and jumped around the altar. They cut themselves. Still, there was no answer. When it was evening, Elijah was given a turn. Come near. Come unto me. Come near. Oh, 
and when sleep, that night God sent a great rain to water the earth. <laughs> He trusted in God in all he do. The land was dry, no rain would fall. But God took care of him through it all. Elijah and the ravens, oh what a sight. God sent them food morning and night. Elijah and the ravens, they did bring bread and meat. What a wonderful thing. Drank fresh water where he prayed The ravens brought food every day Got special care in a marvelous way Elijah and the ravens, oh what a sight God sent them food morning and night Elijah and the ravens, they did bring Oh, what a sight, what a sight God sent them through 